السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ہوپ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل مائی ریسپیکٹڈ استاد آئی ایم رضوان اینڈ آئی ایم اے اسٹوڈنٹ فرام آندھرا پردیش انڈیا ایز یو آلویز کوٹ دا قرآن چیپٹر تھری ورس ففٹی فور دے پلان اینڈ پلاٹڈ اللہ ٹو پلان اللہ از دا بیسٹ آف پلانرس مائی کوشچن از آئی تھنک یو نو اباؤٹ ریسنٹ انسیڈنٹس آف انڈین میڈیا they all tried to defame you and wanted to keep you in jail but now they are being defamed by everyone amongst them arnab goswami was number one yesterday he went to jail he told so many times that you should be in jail and now he's in jail did you pray to allah for vengeance may allah grant you success in dunya and akhirah amen the brother is talking about incidents where Uh, we know that about four years back the Indian media maligned me and told me that I've been involved in terrorism etc and they spoke lies about me and amongst them one famous TV journalist TV anchor person his name is Arnab Goswami and he is known to lie to fabricate just to increase his TRP normally the role of a journalist is that he has got scruples he has got values and a good journalist will not change his view even if it causes he will stick to the truth even if it causes loss to him even if he has to lose money he will stick to his principle but Arnab Goswami he was previously in times now and then he started his own TV channel along with a BJP person the Republic TV and he has broken all the rules of journalism his main aim is to increase the TRP and while increasing the TRP he uses all sorts of lies all sorts of illogical arguments and he's very good in speaking just to increase the TRP he maligns people he tells lies so that it benefits his aims and objective and that is known that the reason Indian media has been defamed in the international media it is known to spread lies etc and he is a spokesperson of the Indian government BJP now because there was a tussle between the Indian government those who don't know the background of India and Maharashtra Maharashtra previously was ruled by a coalition government that is the ruling party BJP and the local party Shiv Sena. There was disagreement between them and they broke up and Shiv Sena joined with Congress, the other opposition and they formed a new government in Maharashtra. Now this Arnab Goswami who was the spokesperson of BJP started criticizing the present government and because of which the present government did investigation and they laid allegation that the TRP is rigged etc whether right or wrong Allah Alam and then they arrested him in a case of abetment for suicide based on this he was arrested and there was a big human cry all over India to the extent that many of the cabinet ministers of the central government they spoke against the arrest to the extent that the home minister Amit Shah number two of the country after Modi he spoke against the Maharashtra government how come they are arresting him the broadcast minister spoke information minister and various cabinet minister it was a big issue internationally that when someone is arrested and they are saying it is it is not correct it is high-handedness it is trying to block the freedom of speech it is exactly a hypocrisy that there are hundreds of journalists who have been arrested by the same BGP government for criticizing them all over India now when they arrest someone who they have proof against they they go out of the way to criticize and support him so much so that he was arrested he was put behind bars he went to the high court and the bail was rejected when he went to Supreme Court the bill was given and he was behind bars for one week one full week so the question is asking 
that are very often quote those of the Quran. Where Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 54, makru Allah wa Allah makrin. They planned and plotted, Allah to plan. Allah is the best of planner. So did I pray to Allah that because Annab Goswami said that I should be arrested and put behind bar and I'm innocent, did I pray to Allah for vengeance? Believe me, I did not do that. I don't want to waste my prayers on such people. And if you heard my earlier answer, I in fact thanked the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, of my beloved country, because of his allegation I was forced to leave India and mashallah today I've come to a beautiful country Malaysia and my life in Malaysia is multiple times better. I had no intention, I've come to Malaysia many times, I never thought in my dreams also that I'd be settling here. It's all thanks to Modi and because of him there are thousands and millions of Muslims who are praying for me, Alhamdulillah. There are millions who have been abusing me. But if someone abuses me wrongly according to Islam, all his good deeds will come to me and my bad deeds will go to him. That is the reason about two years back I thanked the Prime Minister of Modi. And I'd like to thank even Annav Goswami. Because of his TRP, he made me a scapegoat and he spoke lies against me because of which many of the Muslims may be praying for me. Thousands of them. Many non-Muslims may be cursing me. In both ways I benefit. So regarding the question asked that did I pray to Allah for vengeance? No. If you know the history of a beloved Prophet Wasallam, there were two staunch enemies in the beginning of Islam and both of them were called Umar. A beloved Prophet Wasallam prayed to Allah that give Hidayah to one of the Umar. Among the Umarain, among the two Umar, give Hidayah to one and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Hidayah to Umar al-Khattab who became the second Caliph of Islam. May Allah be pleased with him. And when he accepted Islam, before accepting Islam, he was one of the staunchest enemy of Islam. But when he accepted Islam, he became one of the staunchest supporters of Islam. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah give Hidayah to Modi, may Allah give Hidayah to Annab Goswami, Maybe after his trip to the jail of one week, he might have realized that many things may have come to his mind. And when he thought that he was untouchable, he thought that no one can touch him, no one can arrest him. Yet he was behind bars for one full week. 24 hours multiplied by seven. For one full week, for seven days, he was behind bars. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may his eyes and his mind open up to the truth and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may defend the truth rather than defending falsehood just for the TRP because we should always stand for the truth and not just for our personal benefit. Hope that's the question.